Do you have you seen any uh, people reporting on data backed studies on the effectiveness or the click through rate or the view rate of of video versus text versus in mail versus audio or are we all working on anecdotes here? Um, a lot of it is anecdote based. What I've seen from a data perspective is a lot of companies sharing individual stats to them and they differ so vastly. So I've seen most people seem to be comparing video messaging to cold calling uh, instead of comparing it to other forms of LinkedIn messaging. And the conversions I've seen everything from two times all the way up to eight times more conversions compared to cold calling uh, is the success people are finding through video uh, video messaging. Those are the only sort of real tangible numbers um, that I've seen in, in the sort of comparison stage. I've then seen a lot of individuals report their own case studies, their own cadences that are working and their own sort of successes that they're having from an individual level, not based on the rest of their sales team, the rest of the company, rest of the industry, etc. cetera. Um, but people are having successes with all. I've seen people share successes with written messages, people sharing successes with audio messages, and you know a lot of people sharing successes with, with video. Um, and that's why, as I mentioned at the start, you need to be utilizing all of them. There'll be people that will get that video message from you and hate it. <laughs> I spoke to a decision maker the other day, and he was so passionate about his hatred <laughs> of video messages, but it made him feel so uncomfortable. Mm. having to watch someone on a camera record a message but you know written messages were fine that was their you know preference they were happy to respond to that so everyone's going to be different you're only you're only ever gonna you know reach the biggest audience possible when you're utilizing all of them sure that makes total sense and we're here to serve buyers in the way they want to communicate right as opposed to what is what we find uh, a lot of people sales people just do what they find quickest and easiest to spam so that's probably not the best way to go about it and there's loads of data on in mail and the effectiveness of in mail but it all comes from linkedin so how skewed that data is um that's probably a topic for another conversation that would be a good topic actually we could dig into sales navigator I, in terms of data backing up the success of in mail i'd be shocked if it was anything more than some really tiny percentage <laughs> because i from my experience and the experience of working with a lot of companies, there's not a huge amount of success that can come from in-mails. But let's, we should tackle Sales Navigator because there's so much you can do without it, but there's a lot you can do with it. So we should definitely do a, I don't know, maybe a myth-busting Sales Navigator episode. With that, Daniel, before we wrap up, mate, anything we need to add or, or you want to add from your perspective on LinkedIn video messages that we didn't cover? Um, i tell you what, the one thing we haven't covered, which is going to be my final notes on this, one of the hardest things to do when sending a video message is get started. For a lot of salespeople out there, if you've never recorded video content or sent video messages before, sitting in front of a camera and recording is quite a scary thing. It's almost just as scary as picking up the phone and making your first ever cold call. So my biggest tip for anyone who's never done it before is just start practicing. Don't send anything out. Just sit in front of your camera and start recording some short videos. Get comfortable and confident in front of a camera that can be sometimes the hardest thing to do and it's going to have a huge impact again on the quality so yeah if you're a bit scared or you're you know not used to doing it get some practice in up front because it will make a huge difference both in your confidence but also in the quality of the video 